I mean, this thing, it probably weighs upwards of like 300 pounds. It's huge, you know, it's about 13 feet long and it's got that curve. So it's a very awkward, heavy thing to maneuver. And these guys fucking put it on top of this car, roped it up and they slow drove it back to my boy's house in Santa Ana and put it in the garage. At some point, the second one had gotten stolen too. So fast forward to DC video kind of like running out of spots everything was a bust and we had found this foundation downtown and another friend of mine who had gotten hired to be an assistant filmer for greg he kind of grew up with my buddy down in santa Ana, and he's like hey we should take that curve bench and he's like i got some other shit and storage he had a lockwood table he'd stolen back in the day it's like we'll run a u-haul and we'll just go fucking put all this shit there so that's how all that shit ended up there in L.A. in the D.C. video. We would chain all that shit together when we were done skating. Because, I mean, dude, it was either going to get stolen or fucking someone's going to go there and do something better than you did. <laughs> you know, so we would... We were totally like hoarding the spot. And it lasted, I can't even remember, it probably lasted a couple months. Then people cut the locks and, and then we put U locks on it, which is a little harder. And then, you know, you know what skaters are? And then they were like, fuck it, they brought a grinder. And so early on in the DC video, the shit got stolen. And that was that. And we had heard rumors that this guy had it. Or the last one that kind of stuck and that I think was true was Tosh Townsend and his boys had taken it. Dude, he's just gonna roll this way. Yes or no, Jay? Yes. Uh, we can come back in a little bit. I actually really didn't care. Like, I did kind of some stuff on it. I'm cool. That was probably in like 2002 or something. So, fast forward to. Mid to late 2019, I get a DM from this dude, and he's like, hey, remember the curb bench, blah, blah, blah. He's like, I have it in my garage. I've had it for 15 years. I'm moving. I thought it would be sick if it went back to you if you wanted it. I was like, hell yeah, I'll come fucking get that thing. So I drove down to Huntington, and he was Tosh's boy. So I think Tosh had it for a minute, then he had it. And uh, he opens up his garage, and there it is. And it still had a U-lock wrapped around one of the bars. He was super cool. He's just like, dude, I hope you get some shit on it. I'm so stoked it's going back to you. And I'm like, yeah, man, I appreciate it. We'll see what happens, you know. So I loaded it up in my truck, and the bed of my truck is five and a half feet. This thing's literally 13 feet long, and it's like a hook, and it kind of swang out the back of my truck bed. So I had to slowly drive it all the way to my boy's house in Santa Ana. So the bench makes its way back to his garage again. It sat there for about a year. And I had already started filming this last thing that we just did for FA, and it was in the back of my mind. It's like, I need to get the bench out, I need to get the bench out. But again, it's just like, where do you put it? It's such a nightmare. And towards the end, I was like, all right, I got no more kind of spots. I'm a little burnt out. Like, it's time to bring the bench somewhere. I can't find anywhere that looks rad, and it's so goddamn heavy. I'm like, I'm just going to bring it to this parking lot by my boy's house. <laughs> then I got sick of bringing it back. So after two times of that, I just was like, fuck it, I'm chaining it up in this lot. And then I go back a third time and I'm, I'm getting ready now. Like, okay, I'm, I need to start practicing this switchback nose blown on this thing. And I pull up and it's gone. And I'm like, fuck, it's stolen again. I think the maintenance crew just fucking cut the lock and took it out, you know, it's just garbage. Because it, it's relatively high, it's almost knee high. I'm just so terrified to jab a switchback nose blind into this thing. I haven't done them in a while, so I built this box just to kind of get them going again. So I had measured it before it got stolen again. And literally when I pulled up at that box was the day that it was gone. 
I hit my boy up. I'm like, hey, do you know a metal fabricator? And he's a builder. Like, he builds ramps and he does concrete work too. And he's like, oh, he's like, I can do it. In the back of my head, I'm like, this is insane. I'm going to try and rebuild this thing right now. You're fucking out of your mind. Let it go. You're over it. This is so crazy. Fuck it. Let's build it. I go to the original place in fucking Santa Ana with a bolt pattern still in the ground, and I start to measure out the curve because I already have the height and I have the width. I send it off to him. He starts trying to get it built. It actually is a little bit more difficult. He had to take the steel to like a fucking places where they do like bending metal for bridges because it takes a pretty big machine to bend that gauge of steel. He starts building. I don't really hear from him for like a week and a half. And then I get a call from Andrew Allen. And he's like, hey, I know where the second original bench is. Okay, who has it? Tony Tave has it in Orange County. Well, dude, I'm already getting this thing built. But fuck, if we can get our hands on the OG again, like, why not? I'll have two benches. He's like, yeah, it's just been in his parents' backyard. Like, they're trying to get rid of it. Because it really is a nuisance to have this bench. It's so fucking giant. So I call my boy that I would store the bench at his house. I'm like, hey, you're not going to believe this shit. I found the second one. He's like, shut the fuck up. He's like, where is it? It's at Tony Tate's house. He's like, shut the fuck up. He has a house, a secondary residence, and it's across the street from Tony Tate's parents' house. And when we pulled up at the U-Haul, I'm like, you got to be shitting me. I'm standing on my boy's driveway, and I can see the bench in their backyard. (laughs) <laughs> I'm just like, dude, this is fucking weird, man. So we fucking load the thing up, and um, I have an original curved green bench again. And then literally when I'm loading up, my boy calls. He's like, dude, we just finished welding the legs on this other one. I can drop it off tomorrow. I'm like, Jesus Christ. All right, cool. And now I got two of these fucking things. Long story short, I did the last bit of skating on the original one that we picked up at Tony Tate's house. On the final day of filming for this thing, where it was like, either I'm going to do this or we're going to be putting this thing out, and I didn't get the trick, I go down there and I'm like, fuck, like I literally couldn't even bring it to the parking lot that I've been skating at. So I had to drive around for like four hours and find somewhere else to bring it. first because i had tried it multiple days i was like pretty strong i remember guy was with me there and then just cody the filmer and um guys like you're gonna fucking do this shit in about two seconds two hours fucking later i'm just in literally a living hell and then i finally whittled one out when i was fading out being able to get up on it anymore really Fuck, I just waxed it, dude. What the fuck, man? I don't understand this fucking chunk of motherfucking. 